common questions we get is, how do you fly with him? Today, I'm going to be answering some of the most frequently asked questions submitted by you. How did you know you were ready for a dog? And why a Samoyed? We were walking in Soho in New York City and we saw this big, white, fluffy cloud and instantly had to know what it was and then did a lot of research on what goes into caring for a Samoyed, their temperament, grooming, all of that. At that point, we kind of knew we were ready for the next step, which is get a dog. I actually wanted a dog for a year before Dan was ready. And I kept like sending him videos of cute dogs I would see uh, almost every single day. So he finally caved in July of 2018. And then a week later, we were picking up this guy and bringing him home. If you could change anything with Boomer, what would that be? Uh, I didn't grow up with dogs and so I didn't really know everything that goes into training and caring for a dog, even though we did a lot of research beforehand. A couple of things that I wish I hadn't done is one, take Boomer to dog parks. When Boomer was a puppy, we took him to a lot of dog parks thinking that was socializing him. But I have later realized that dog parks are not really a good place for dogs to be so they can get diseases. There's lots of dog fights that happen. Boomer got really badly bit once, teaches bad behaviors. And, and another thing was when Boomer was a puppy, he was pulling a lot and found a band-aid fix by using something like a gentle leader, which I think is a good tool to be using, but uh, didn't really start training him on loose leash walking till he was about nine months old. He's really good now, but that's something that I always tell someone who's getting a Sammy to start training from day one. One of the most important things to the account and something that you both enjoy is travel. How is Boomer while traveling? Boomer loves traveling. So growing up in New York City, Boomer was exposed to a lot of different kinds of environments. So since we started traveling with him young, he's really calm and confident in a lot of places that we've worked on a separation anxiety. So he's able to stay in a hotel or in a rental home while when we step out for a little bit. What was his favorite place so far? Oh, so I think that Boomer really enjoyed is Hawaii. We were able to bring Boomer to Hawaii when I was there for a work project last year. We did a bunch of hikes with him. He went to all the beaches. He just really, really loved it. He like it, it was so nice to see that he felt the same way about Hawaii the way I do. One of the most common questions we get is, how do you fly with him? Since Boomer is a large dog and he flies in cabin with me, because Boomer is a psychiatric service dog for me, he's task trained to do certain things for my PTSD and helps with my panic attacks. And we've been through a lot of training to get him to this point where he can really help and support me. Also me having really bad flight anxiety, he's able to be there for me on the plane, which I am just so grateful for. How is he on the airplane? Boomer is great on all modes of transport, but I will say that the flight might be Boomer's favorite. The boomer usually is very relaxed, which actually really helps me because when there is turbulence, um, I can co-regulate because boomer is so calm and I'm able to feed off of his calmness to be able to regulate myself and my anxiety too. During 2022, you transitioned into being a full-time content creator. Can you tell us what the hardest part of that journey has been? I quit my corporate engineering job in August of 2022 and since then have been doing content creation full time. I am just so grateful to be in a position to be able to do this. It took us about a year and a half of planning and going back and forth before we could make this decision. While it has been a dream come true, there have been some ups and downs with it. Uh, the challenges that have come with it are one is that I am by myself all day and while I have Boomer with me and it can be pretty challenging to kind of be in your own thoughts and not have work colleagues to bounce ideas off of. So when I'm stuck in a loop, I tend to get stuck in it really long and really deep before I can come out of it. So I'm working through building a community of creators in LA, but also all over and hoping that 
through these connections, I can have work colleagues that are all over the world. Second thing that has been a challenge, when you're a content creator and get real-time feedback, if you think about it, it's kind of like if I had a project I was going to do every day, and then my boss gave me a rating from a scale of one to 10 every single day. That's kind of how I feel when I post a video and then instantly I see the likes and the views and the comments and I am comparing myself to myself and also to other creators because it's so visible and it's so there and that's kind of been challenging for me too something i constantly keep repeating is that comparison is the thief of joy and it has taken a lot of joy away from me but i'm working and trying to get better at it i'm trying to draw value from other things like having the freedom to be able to spend time with boomer having the flexibility to be able to travel as much as i want um, and having the space and time to be able to work on my mental health. Finally, what are some lessons you've learned from Boomer? The biggest lesson that I've learned from Boomer is being in the moment. Dogs don't care about what's coming in the future or what happened in the past. They just care about what's right in front of them. That's something that I really want to draw inspiration from and also use in my day-to-day -day life is to just be more present, be more mindful and be grateful for what's in front of me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and for sending in all of your questions. Leave a comment if you have any other questions and I might make this type of video more frequently because I feel like it's a great way for us to talk about things that I don't usually share about on a day-to-day -day basis. See you in the next one.